Hey permaculture people, Becca here with Food Forest Next Door coming to you out of Louisville, Kentucky. And today I am going to show you how to grow perfect tomatoes using science. And in this egg, it's an egg, part of science. What am I talking about, an egg for tomatoes? How does that work? How is that science? What? The way it's science is that we are going to prevent blossom end rot on our tomatoes, which makes tomatoes look like this. I don't want that. You don't want that. What we're going to do to prevent it is introduce calcium into the equation. The way we're going to get our calcium in is using an old trick my grandma used to use. Eggshells. Now, instead of taking an entire eggshell, which is rich in calcium, we are going to shred it up using my food processor here to make the calcium more available to the roots of the tomato. It's gonna help the calcium break down because it's in smaller pieces. It's gonna be more accessible to the plant's roots, which is gonna allow it to take up more of that nutrient into its system to help prevent the blossom end rot. These are my eggshells. It says eggshells. This is just a regular old canning jar. It's got my eggshells all ground up from the food processor. I put the label on top so we know it's eggshells. And this is actually the lid is from a salt container. I took the lid and cut it with an X-Acto knife. So now I have this handy pour spout. Isn't that nice? I have this pour spout. So I can pour. Cat you don't belong on the counter. Hello, YouTube. Good. When you cut the top off the salt shaker, you now have this lovely little pour spout. When it's time to plant your tomato starts, you now have this handy little pour spout to put this right in the planting hole with your tomatoes, which is going to let them have access to this. Once the roots get in and get wet, it's going to activate. Oh, this fun calcium that's gonna be drawn up into the plant to help prevent the skin from cracking, from overwatering, underwatering. Blossom end rot is when you get that nasty, this. That's a calcium deficiency. When you crack and you cat face, those are from water inconsistencies. This is a mineral deficiency we're gonna put back in using calcium. It's super simple, I'll show you. As you make eggs throughout the week, take the shells, rinse them off. Put them in a wide mouth jar so it's easy to reach in and out. Once you get a good amount, they're going in the food processor. If you happen to have your own chickens or you know someone who has chickens, you get beautiful multicolored shells like these. Check these out. Look at all the different colors. Thanks Maggie for giving us your chickens eggs. We buy them off of a lady we know named Maggie who keeps chickens. Lots of different colors. Don't worry about what color eggs you have. Eggs are just like people, different on the outside, all the same on the inside. So same nutrients going in, doesn't matter. That's it. We have these wonderful little calcium delivery molecules that are going to make our tomatoes lovely. Because I can, not because I'm able to, but because I can, I put up food. I have this handy little tool here that is a jar funnel. So I have my jar, eggshell shreds, and this fits right in, look how handy. And then it gives you a much bigger, it's basically a really wide mouth funnel got this handle on because sometimes you're pouring hot things when you're canning. Not a concern today. So, got my eggshells. Take out the blade. Safety forced. And then we're just gonna put the eggshells in. That's it. 
Now what do I do? Now that I have my eggshells, what do I do? I collect these all wintery springtime. I start in February and every week we make eggs and every week I shred them up. I do it in February, I do it in March. By April, I'm almost ready to put my tomatoes out, so I pretty much can stop. Uh, I use these in the planting hole. When you have your seedling, move the soil apart, dig your hole you're gonna plant your seedling in, sprinkle this in. How much? Okay, here's where I get very unscientific. As much as you need, however much you feel like, it's not gonna matter much. It doesn't need a lot of calcium to prevent what's going on with the blossom end rot. You just need some. And this is like a vitamin. It's gonna provide that extra little bit of insurance to let you get nice, healthy tomatoes. Once you have this, you put it in the hole. I also, once all my little tomatoes are planted, out come the slugs and they wanna eat your little tomatoes too. The hornworms wanna eat your little tomatoes too. These look to us to be fairly small, but imagine you are the size of a slug or a tomato hornworm and you have a very soft, squishy body and crawling across these, it gonna hurt. So you're not gonna to wanna to do it. So I top dress like you would see on your seed trays with vermiculite or how you put down mulch. I don't use a ton and I don't make it all over the bed. I go in a circle pretty much around each plant, just a little bit enough so they don't wanna go across it. About an inch strip all the way around each seedling usually takes care of it and I don't have a whole lot of things chewing on my tomato plants. So calcium boost to prevent blossom end rot as well as a pest deterrent of those little crawly things that wanna eat your plants more than you do even. These eggshells are a permaculture powerhouse. Not only are you keeping waste, the eggshells, out of the landfill, or if you're gonna compost them, good for you, you should still do this to compost them. They're gonna break down and provide a lot more nutrients in your compost bin, which is then gonna feed your soil, which is then gonna feed your plants. Don't throw whole eggshells in, like crush them up. It, you saw how long it takes, it takes no time. I do this once a week in the spring. It's easy peasy. I also do it in the rest of the year to go in my compost. So these eggshells are fantastic. They have calcium, they are pest deterrents, you're taking them out of the waste stream, you're doing a win-win-win here and you're gonna have better tomatoes for it. Who doesn't want better tomatoes? Eggshells. This is what you should be doing for permaculture in the winter. Your tomatoes will thank you. What do you want, Kat? You want to be in the video too? Your sister was in it. Is it your turn now? He's gonna knock my camera over if I don't pay him attention. Hey, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> Where are you going? He doesn't want to be on YouTube. What do you think, kid? No, those smell like your breakfast. You like eggs, don't you?